Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk and today I'm unboxing a new delivery that I've taken. Uh, basically, I got some birthday money and I decided that I was going to buy myself the Raspberry Pi Retro Arcade Game Pack thing from the Pi Hut. And I've got it here. It's just arrived. I've been waiting all day for Phil to deliver it from DPD. I honestly believed that it was not going to happen. Um, it went off the radar at 11 o'clock this morning. I was like, no, Phil, come on, you are delivering within the next half an hour. Apparently his van broke down and everything. So uh, thank you, Phil, for finally bringing it to me, even though I ignored the door when you came. Got some scissors here. So I'm going to unbox this quite quickly because I've only got 10 minutes of my dinner left. When I've unboxed this, I will then at home probably set it up and then I might do another video of me actually playing it, knit it all together. Looks like one big video. Thank you very much. So first things first, I'm just going to un open the box because this is an unboxing. So in unboxings, we open boxes. So that's the first step. I think I'm doing quite well at this. So I've just sliced it at that bit there. Uh, it doesn't feel like the best of packaging. I'm hoping that it is safe and secure. Safe and sound. Right, in this box, let me show you here. I've got a new Raspberry Pi 3. I've got a Pi Hut. I'm, just, I'm thinking this is the game case. I'm just going to get this out. This is the case for the console. So this is my miniature console. Um, there we go. Little Raspberry Pi case. So that's going to house my miniature Raspberry Pi 3. Then I've got an HDMI cable, which I'm quite surprised about. I didn't take enough notice, actually. I should have realised there was going to be an HDMI, HDMI cable with it. I wonder if it's one of those 50, 60 pound ones that works. You know, that you get in the TV shop. Oh, get our gold-plated HDMI cable. Oh, it won't be the same without it. It's probably not. It doesn't look gold-plated. I've um, got some clips. Uh, oh yeah, this is for the plug. Bit of a strange plug setup, but I assume it's for Universal, um, different countries. So, got the plug that came in that box. Some little adapters for different countries. So if you watch, if you're one of my fans in all these other countries, <laughs> I don't think I've got any fans. But anyway, if you're watching from another country, great. Right, the Raspberry Pi. 3 model B. I've only ever had model B's. I've, I've got a Raspberry Pi, a Raspberry Pi 2 and now a Raspberry Pi 3 and I've always been model B. I don't know exactly what the difference is apart from possibly Ethernet and an extra USB. So this now has got four USB ports uh, compared to my Raspberry Pi 2 I think which had just two USB ports I think. Still credit card size. I'm not going to get it out of the box properly but um, hopefully you can see that it's still quite small and that's going to fit inside this box so I'm going to have that in there and then what else have I got oh and apparently the Raspberry Pi 3 is a quad core processor now I've got a little micro SD now I didn't know that it was micro SD that's another um, improvement on the old Raspberry Pis. So that should be a 16 gigabyte uh, micro SD. And then one of the other great things about this is the USB game controller. So they've sent me two, I think. Yeah, I've got two. Drop the box now, but it doesn't matter. Drop box. Um, yeah, two controllers. I can get one of these out and show you. So these are the classic... SNES style, and this is one of the things that drew me to this um, this thing because I was looking at, at getting one. Me and my mate were looking at the the SNES. There's going to be in September, end of September, that um, at Argos you can buy um, Super Nintendo um, like mini console thing. So, and then I, I was looking around. I was like, what alternatives are? I'm not waiting till September. Look at this. So I'm going to be able to, once I've got this set up, I'm going to be able to play all the old SNES games. We're talking Mario Brothers, uh, Donkey Kong, Mega Bomberman. I cannot wait to play Mega Bomberman again. Uh, one of my personal favourites is Snow Brothers as the uh, controller again. 
And let's just have a look at the thickness of it. So it's all come nicely packaged from the Pie Hut. I'm not on commission. Um, I don't even know how you would get commission from the Pie Hut. I might put an Amazon link instead, but that's not the Pie Hut. Um, yeah, so I've got my controllers, I've got my case, I've got my HDMI, I've got my plug, I've got my micro SD. I'm not sure what the green thing is. Maybe someone could tell me what the green thing is, or I'll probably find out when I send it up, but some sort of USB dongly thingy. Oh, maybe I, maybe I just put the memory card in there now, in a USB. Right, yeah. And the power supply that goes in, oh uh, yeah, the power supply goes in as a um, USB, micro USB I think it is. So that means that I can still power it. This could be a, a portable thing because I've got a power pack um, which, you know, like you can charge your phone. You, you charge it up and then when you're out and about you can charge your phone. So on my old um, Raspberry Pi I was able to power it using that power pack. That's pretty cool, although if I'm going to be plugging it in via HDMI or something, then pretty pointless. So that's it really, just a quick unboxing video. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to do my unboxing, and that is the star of the show, the little controller. Apparently they're just six quid. Um, but I got the Raspberry Pi, I've got the case, got the Raspberry Pi, the case, two controllers, an HDMI cable, a 16 gigabyte 10 uh, class 10 um, thingy bob that they say you should get 16 gigabyte class 10 you can't even see it um, I think that's it so I'm gonna go away find out where to down I think I've got to go to retropie.co.uk I'm gonna download that and then I'm going to um, get it all working right so last night I set up my Raspberry Pi I went to retropie.org.uk. As I've got a Raspberry Pi 3, I clicked on this one here to download the software. I then followed the instructions for first installation. So if we go to docs and then first installation. So I followed these instructions. With the Raspberry Pi, um, it comes with the micro SD card. And it comes with a little USB thing as well, which is quite good. Uh, you put the little micro SD card in that. You then put that into your laptop or computer. You put the image that you downloaded from that download link that I just showed you. And that is like an image for the SD card. And you need some software to be able to put it onto your USB. So um, the software I had to download was Win32 Image Writer or something like that. It's on there. Um, so I got that software downloaded, I had the image downloaded, I used the software to put that image onto the USB, so then that meant that I had the software for my Retro Pi game thing that I've got, so it's here, so it meant that I was all hooked up with this. Oh, putting this together as well was a bit fiddly. Um, so it's a nice little case because you can take the top off and you can see it. it's quite protected now. But getting it into that bottom bit wasn't, I didn't find it that straightforward. But I've not done many of these into the cases. I've got one that's in a case and one that's in Lego. Uh, so yeah, I've got that set up. That was fiddly. Got the SD card set up, plugged it in, put it all on, put my controller in. And when you first set it up, it puts, um, it lets you set up the configuration for your controllers. So I only had to do it once because I've only got one type of controller and that's this one that came with the pack that I bought. So it's like a classic SNES controller, Super Nintendo. Uh, so as you go through the setup, you just like press the button for that. So it says, what's your D-pad up, down, left, right, all of that lot. And then what are these buttons? And then after that, just to get past the buttons that you don't have because it has got these I didn't realize it had these shoulder buttons but after that there are buttons that you don't have so you just hold your finger down for a bit on one it doesn't matter because you keep holding it means I've not got that button so it's irrelevant so yeah set that up and then I was like right okay what do I do now and then um, it it loaded up the retro Python but there were no games on it whatsoever 
So I'm thinking, well, it said there were no copyrighted games on it, so I must have games that don't have any copyright on it. But yeah, it just said there were no games. So I was like, what am I going to do now then? I've got a, an arcade gaming thing without any games. And on the um, website, it gives you coolrom.com. Um, it gives you a link to CoolROM, and it says, if you want to get some games, then use this. So, so this is it, CoolROM.com. And you can basically download a load of ROMs for all these different um, game systems. Uh, so you can play your favourite games on there. So let's have a look what they've got. So Sega Master System, let's see. Alex the Kid, Sonic the Hedgehog and stuff like that. So you can download these from here. And there are some that are protected that you can't download. Um, some copyright laws or what have you. I was going to record myself like, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, yeah. But I thought that'd be really irritating. And I didn't want to record myself uh, playing the game just in case some reason a game that I managed to get hold of was one that's protected. I mean, I bought a load of these games for myself anyway, the first time around. Um, so, in all, it took me ages to set up last night, probably two or three hours, and some of that was waiting for things to download. It shouldn't take that long, it's me. Um, when I did have some ROMs to put on, I didn't realise the order that you need to do it. So what you do, this is a tip for you, is don't make the mistake I made. You, you get a USB drive, so, like this, you plug that into your Raspberry Pi after it's already set up with RetroPie. You plug it in, you wait for it to stop flashing. Before you plug it in, you format it, FAT32. You plug it into there, it stops flashing, and then that means that it's put the necessary folders on there for you. Then when you get your ROMs, you put them into the right folders on that thing. I didn't realise that. I was just being stupid. And then you put that back into your Pi, wait for it to stop flashing again, and then you restart the Pi again, and you, and you get um, the emulator emulation station, it's called. Loads up with the number of games that you've got, and it lets you go through the list of games and start playing. So it is really good. It's nostalgic, blast from the past. Um, it's good for people that were around when the games were around and it's also good for kids that um, maybe not necessarily into Xboxes and Playstations yet, maybe they're a bit young for that or maybe you've got them or into that but you want them to see a bit of your history, what it was like when you were a kid playing on games. So I definitely recommend it um, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my dinner break playing on some of these games. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please click on like, subscribe to my channel and share with others. And hopefully you'll get one of these yourself um, and start playing the games.